What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Smelly Feet. Sorry I have been absent from this channel. I know I sort of made a pledge to, well this summer, to be more active on this channel. But to be honest, I've been occupying my time throughout the summer to focus on my basketball and yeah, that's my main excuse. Well aside from that, today we're going to be covering the Nike MX1 Leopard. This um, comes in two colorways. It's part of the Leopard pack and Today we're going to be covering the black versions, it also comes in a charcoal version, so yeah, let's get straight into it. We have a very clean, sleek, stylish looking shoe here, it's predominantly suede and it has the implement of the Nike Leopard. Some of the features of this shoe are a combination leather and a textile upper for a premium fit and feel to the shoe, a phylon midsole for lightweight cushioning and impact protection, a Nike air sole unit for superior performance and a rubber outsole with waffle pattern for traction and durability. With regards to the fit and the feel of this silhouette, I've said it before and I'll say it again, this shoe in particular ranks really high in the comfort section. Um, very few silhouettes are on par with the Nike Free or Harachi series. However, this has something very intricate, very unique about it and Performance wise, I'm not too sure to be honest. I've never actually used them for training or performance purposes However, if you were to use them in a the gym or something like that, I'd say you're good to go Casually, not many shoes have that adaptability and have the colorway schemes to go with jeans or tracksuit bottoms, sweatsuits, that sort of thing. The MX1 is very very versatile in its approach to becoming a casual trainer Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what socks I'm using, they are from the, well, they are the Nike Elite Running Socks. Performance Socks, yeah. Nike Elite Running Performing Socks, yeah. Naughty Bananas! The Nike MX1 was originally called the Nike MX87, deriving from its year of release being 1987. Initially, the shoe was developed by Mark Parker, and to no surprise at all, the shoe was designed and given input to by the infamous Tinker Hatfield. So overall the Nike MX1 Leopard Black is a really nice shoe. I personally would recommend it because this silhouette is, well the build quality of this is of a very high level. I mean when you slide your fingers inside of the inside midsole it just feels really really silky and um, one thing I do like about this silhouette is that most of the upper is covered in suede which is really hard to find nowadays because trainers tend to favour the patent look I don't know if that's just me but yeah um, so for you hype beasts out there that want to get a pair go get a pair but I doubt you get a pair because there won't be any out there left in stock um, I'm sort of bummed out because I found out that local retailers like in West End um, have s uh, selling them now, like office and shit places like, uh, places like that. Uh, but yeah, um, I doubt they'd still have sizes left, but yeah, if you do want to get them, I would recommend them strongly. Aside from that, I don't want trainers to come next. It might be of a power line, Nike power lines that is. Um, I haven't been doing Jordans to be honest because Jordans have become too mainstream, as someone I know likes to phrase it, and it's pretty true because JD Sports sell them, I'm saying, overpriced. Um, aside from that, yeah, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Please tune in, stay tuned in. Yeah, peace and love.